Finding a reaction of a beam with a triangle distributed load is very important for the FE exam, and that's what we're gonna cover today. Oh yeah, everybody now. So we are giving this beam and we want to find the reaction at support A. So the first thing we're going to do is take the moment at B, equal it to zero, and then solve for the reaction force at A. Now when you set up your moment equation, just be careful with the moment arm, because here we have a triangle load, right? Now we covered all those concepts in this video here, so go back, review those concepts, then come back to this video and then give it a try. Now let's set up our moment equation. So we're going to do the summation of the moment at B equals to zero. Now, remember guys, here we have a pin. That's why the moment here is going to be zero. If you want to review statics concepts, make sure to download the cheat sheet here. I've included all the important concepts that will help you answer most of these statics questions. So check it out. Back to our problem. So we're going to assume counterclockwise to be positive. So if we do that, First, we're going to assume also that AY is going up. And so we're going to have AY, and AY is going to be minus because it's going opposite of our sign convention. And then we're going to multiply it by the moment arm, which is going to be 6. And then we're going to add the distributed load. So we're going to have plus because the distributed load is going the same direction as our moment. And then we're going to do force times the moment arm. Let's first find the force of this load. So the force of this load is just going to be the area of this triangle, which is 1 half times the base, which is 6 meters, and then times the height, which is 12 kilonewtons per meter. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 36, and this is going to have the units of kilonewtons, because here we have meters and meters cancel, and we should have kilonewtons because that's the unit of force. Now that we've found the force, the next thing we need to do is multiply this by the moment arm, because this is moment equation, so every term in this equation should be kilonewtons meter, right? Because that's the unit of moment. So now, the moment arm for the triangle is going to be the distance from B, because that's where we're taking the moment, to the centroid of the triangle, okay? Now, we're taking the centroid of the triangle because we usually assume that the force of this distributed load is acting at the centroid. Now, this distance here is going to be b over 3, okay? So which means 6 over 3. So let's write that down. Now equal this equation to 0 and then solve for a y. So if you guys do that, so we can take this term to the other side. So we're going to have a y and then 36 times 6 over 3 and then divide it by 6 and that will give you 12 kilonewtons. So this is going to be the reaction at a. Now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be a. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, guys, is that here we have AY came out to be positive, which means our assumption is correct and AY is going up. Now, if we had AY negative, that would just mean that our assumption was wrong and that AY should be going down. Another common FE question is having a trapezoidal load. If you guys want to see a problem on that, go ahead and comment below trapezoidal load. Also, if you want more problems to practice, make sure to take this free 15-minute quiz here. It has some of the most common FE problems. And once you complete it, then I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step solution just like we did in this video. So check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're currently studying for your FE exam and you're feeling stuck with the material that you have, don't forget to check out our courses where we simplify engineering concepts, provide step-by-step -step solution to over a thousand problems, and cover exactly the material that you need to pass your FE exam. All our courses are lifetime access so that you can take the time to study at your own pace and pass faster with the engineer method. Now, before you go, if you want more FE problems that will help you pass your FE exam, check out this playlist that has over 90 FE problems. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,